In the return reply, Kivit says only 19 employees were dismissed for corruption, theft and or fraud over this period. Advocacy Group, the Public Service Accountability Monitor, says this is not good news in the fight against corruption. PSEM says with more than 1 million employees in the public service and the evidence from audit reports which show financial ill-discipline, these figures should be much higher. Given the state of the public service and the extent of corruption evidenced in government's own reports, including the Auditor General's findings on financial management of government departments, we would expect to see a much higher number of investigations taking place. These should be increasing in line with government's commitments to addressing corruption in the public service. Another advocacy group, Accountability Now, shares these sentiments. The evidence before the Zondo Commission and the levels of looting of public funds in South Africa would suggest that many more public servants are involved in the looting than have been disciplined or charged. Other sanctions given to those who have been found guilty include suspensions of less than two months as well as suspensions without pay. The DA expressed concern about the consequence management. I think what is even more concerning and, 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 and disturbing is that, um, you know, from the information that the DPSA has given us, you're not uh, entirely uh, satisfied with some of the consequence management that's been taken around uh, these cases uh, of, of fraud, theft or corruption. Uh, cases which, in my view, are, are extremely serious and, and should really be treated in a serious light uh, by departments. Gondwe says government departments must implement effective consequence management to root out these wrongdoings. Lula Mamaika, SAPC News, Parliament.